All right, this is your post cuff trio to get your rotator cuff firing. You're gonna grab a light weight with your affected side pointing up to the sky, go on your side. You're gonna go through three motions. The first one, starting by your side, elbow straight, okay? Shoulders are stacked and you're gonna come straight in front of your body and up to about 135 degrees. Okay, rotating through this plane. Try not to come up, try not to come too far underneath. Okay, straight in front and up. The second motion, shit. I should say, tell us seven out of 10 fatigue. Say it again, or leave off. Just say it right now. Mm -hmm. I'll just edit it. Okay. Boom. You're gonna do that until you get to a seven or eight out of 10 fatigue. So you wanna feel a burn in the back of your shoulder. The second motion, you're gonna start straight out in front of you. Again, elbows straight, shoulders are stacked on top of each other and you're coming straight up to the sky. Okay. We don't wanna come all the way vertical so that you are, so there's not tension on the back of your shoulder. You wanna come up to about 80 degrees or so. Pulling from the back of your shoulder and again, stay right in front about 90 degrees here. You're not coming down this way. You're not coming up too high. And then the last one, shoulder external rotation. So arm right on your side. Again, shoulder stacked. And you're going to rotate your arm up towards the ceiling. Elbow stays bent to 90 degrees the whole time. And we're doing all three of these motions until we're about a 7 or 8 out of 10 fatigue. So we're going until fatigue. That's your post-cuff trio.